Hi, this is Tony. Are you the proud new owner of a Cardigan Welsh Corgi puppy? Or an adult Cardigan Welsh Corgi? These are the cutest dogs you're ever going to see. They make great family pets, great to have around. You're going to just love them. The Cardigan Welsh Corgi is highly intelligent, obedient, protective, steady, active, loyal, loving, willing to please, and robust. They are usually good with considerate children, other corgis, and non-canine pets, but wary with strangers and other dogs. They make fine guards and excellent show and obedience dogs. They sometimes attempt to herd people by nipping at their heels, although they can be trained not to do this. The Cardigan is a good alarm barker and some tend to bark a lot. Males can be aggressive with other males, particularly if a female in heat is in the vicinity. And when you first get them, of course, you're going to need to potty train them. And you may not have a clue as to what to do as far as that's concerned. That's why you come to this website right here. This is a resource for you where they'll teach you with a free mini course on how to get your Cardigan Welsh Corgi potty trained at quick speed. Did you find another puddle in your house or did you walk into the living room and discover a pile of poop? Boy, that makes your day great, doesn't it? Do you feel like you are spending all your time taking the dog outside or cleaning up messes in the house? You are not alone, but you do not have to be in this situation. Your puppy or adult dog can be fully potty trained and you'd be free of cleaning up accidents all the time. Puppies under six months of age are not fully developed and will have trouble being able to hold their urine and feces. However, if you learn to know when they are likely to potty, you can anticipate their needs and get them to, out to a potty place at the right time. Does your dog always use the same area in the yard for his pottying needs? If not, you may need to start over on training him where to potty. Put his leash on him when you take him out and always take him to the same area. Always use a word such as business to let him know what you want him to do. Stand still and hold the leash, hold the end of the leash so he cannot investigate the entire area, but is limited to a specific part and do not let him play until he is pottied. Does your dog only have occasional accidents? First, make sure he does not have any health problems. A trip to your local vet may be in order. Then try to understand when he has his accidents, 30 minutes after eating, while he is playing, right after he gets up or is released from his crate, when greeting people, etc. Does your dog only mess when you leave him alone? Does he only do it in a certain room of the house? Does he mark your furniture? Learn what causes these behaviors and how to work with your puppy or adult dog to solve the problem. If you work and must leave your dog at home for long hours, you need to learn how to effectively crate train your dog, as well as how to successfully potty train him so that he always eliminates in the appropriate place at the appropriate times. Remember that potty training, like all other types of dog training, involve positive reinforcement. Learn how to deal with accidents appropriately without hitting your dog or making a big deal out of it. That's not going to work. Some breeds are easy to house train as they don't like for their living quarters to be messy or smelly, or they really like to please their owners. Other breeds are more difficult to housebreak. Others may take a special type of housebreaking. However, with patience and persistence, your dog can be house trained. Some of the basics for you to consider of potty training are, it is important for your dog to have an established routine and for you to be consistent in your expectations of it. The easy way to look at, your, at the routine your dog needs to establish is that any time, there is a break during the day or change of direction in your dog's day, take the dog to his potty place. Five keys to your success are, when your dog gets up, take him to the potty place. Feed your dog on a regular schedule, which will eventually be twice a day about 10 to 12 hours apart. After he eats or drinks anything, take him to the potty place. After your dog plays or exercises, take him to the potty place. Withhold water for two to four hours before your dog goes to bed. Just prior to going to bed, take him to the potty place. What I'd like for you to do now is to come to this website where you can get your free mini course. I'm going to leave a link below the video. You'll scroll down. You'll enter your name, your dog's name, and your email address. Click subscribe and they're going to send that free mini course directly to your inbox with tips and strategies on potty training as well as other information about nutritional needs and generic information on your new Cardigan Welsh Corgi. This has been Tony. I want to thank you for listening today.